YouTube have recently changed how you set up and customize the layout of your channel. Now how we add our channel art, a featured video, the about information and even a welcome video have all changed. So in this video I'm now going to show everyone how to do all of that the new way and it's coming up right now. Hey there, Mark Warnkin here. Thanks for tuning into my channel, the number one place to stay up to date with everything that's happening in the world of social media. So as always, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and tick the bell icon. That way you won't miss out on any of my weekly videos. So here we are on my YouTube channel, Mark Warnkin, Social Media Selling 123. So how do we actually customize the layout to your YouTube channel? YouTube have made it um, a change to this recently and they, they have made it significantly easier to do as well. So how do we get this process started to customize the full layout? We click on the button here that says customize channel and it takes us into the YouTube studio or the, the, um, the behind the scenes, the engine room of your YouTube channel and that's where we get to do all of that customization. So the first one we're going to have a look at is the layout of your channel. That's right. Really, really important. You want to make your YouTube channel um, eye popping. You want to make it to stop the scroll because if anyone lands on your YouTube channel, they're going to decide within a few seconds whether they like what they see and they will start clicking and consuming some of your videos or they'll click on to the next video and the opportunity will be lost. So the first thing that I want to explain to everyone, YouTube gives us all the opportunity to add a tr channel trailer video or a welcome video. Now, the idea of that is when someone lands on your YouTube channel for the first time and they're not a subscriber, you can customize what we call a welcome video or a channel trailer video. And in that video, you can actually say, hey, welcome to my channel for the first time. This channel is all about X, Y, Z, things like that. So it's a great way to sort of introduce yourself to people when they've landed on your channel. And you can upload a video here. You would click on upload um, or remove, change video or remove. Um, I've already got one uploaded, of course. So if, if, if it wasn't there, it would say upload a video. But it is that simple now to customize a welcome video or a trailer video. And I've just clicked back to my um, main homepage of my YouTube channel. So when someone does it land on my channel, this is then what they see. So when they land on it as a non-subscriber to my channel, there's me front and center saying, hey, everyone, thanks for tuning into my channel. This channel is all about helping business owners, et cetera, et cetera. So that's the look that they end up seeing. So they actually make it really easy to do that. Now, once someone has subscribed to your channel, they then give you the option to add a featured video, a featured video for returning subscribers. How clever is that? Because if someone has subscribed to your YouTube channel, you don't want them to see the welcome video every time. And that's where they then give you the opportunity to add a featured video. Now, a featured video is just one of your standard videos that you've already recorded. You can add that to this particular spot as well. So if I click on another screen to show you my homepage, let me show you where the featured video actually appears. And here we go here. I've just clicked to another screen and here it goes. It shows you the featured video I have right at the top of my channel. Now, I've at the moment got this particular video. It's a Twitter video for beginners. It's probably my most popular video at the moment. So I'm wanting people to consume and have a look at that. So the two simplest things we can all be doing is to um, add a channel trailer video, add a featured video, and you click on that and you select your video and away you go. Now, also, if we scroll down a little bit further, you can then add sections to your YouTube channel. Now, I've already added uploads because it's already appearing here and it's been, um, the color is not black over there. I've also just recently added popular videos. You would click on there and it would populate that in there with your popular video. I believe it, it lists your last 10 videos, your most popular videos in order. Scrolling down further, you can add single playlists, which is what I have already done, a created playlist. It's all relatively straightforward they've made it significantly sim more simple. Um, one of the good things about it is that you can now change the order 
that they appear on your YouTube channel as well. See here, I've just clicked and highlighted the and, 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 and dragged um, one above the other. Um, so when someone, you can change the look, you can change the layout of your YouTube channel, making it significantly easier. Clicking over here on the right, of course, you get the options to edit, view the playlist, remove, remove the section as well. So just going back to the home page of my YouTube channel, we now have seen some of behind the scenes. I've got all of my upload videos there. I've got those popular videos there and the created playlists and then all of my playlists listed down below. So that's the first part that you want to sort of get your head around is the layout. It's really, really simple. They used to make this a little bit tricky, um, but a strong suggestion is for everyone to get that part right because, you know, when someone lands on your YouTube channel, their finger is hovering over the mouse or hovering over ready to scroll off if they're watching it on a mobile or a tablet. If you don't engage them straight away with an interesting looking channel, they will then move, um, click off or scroll off and the opportunity will be lost. The second tab we then want to click on is the branding tab. Okay, this is one where it now, now allows you to add your profile image. Now, for a lot of you, it might be um, a picture of your company logo or a product or service. For me, I'm just selecting the image of me. You can click change and remove there. The next part is your banner image. Um, now, they used to call it the channel art. Now, if I go back to my YouTube channel, um, here is the profile image here. Here is the channel art. They're now calling it banner image. Now, that's coming into line with a lot of the other social media platforms, um, you know, LinkedIn, Facebook, and, and the like, where they call it the banner image. It doesn't really matter. Channel art, banner image, that type of things. Change and remove, pretty straightforward. The banner image or channel art does get a little bit tricky. The sizing you want to go with is 2,048 pixels times 1,152 pixels. Um, sometimes you have to play around with it to get the right sizing and get the right positioning, but it is worthwhile doing. So those two are relatively simple. Equally, you're wanting to add a watermark to your video, I believe, a subscribe now watermark. Um, it appears in the bottom right-hand corner of a video and you can select whether you're wanting at the end of the video, a customised start time or the entire video. I like to have it on the entire video because I'm wanting to in, you know, very much have a call to action for people to continually subscribe to my YouTube channel. Some people only want it at the end. Others have a customised popping up and popping off, but that's the one that I've actually gone with. Um, so that's the branding. Again, relatively simple. They've made it significantly easier. The last area we want to click on now is the basic info. This is like the about section, if it was your Facebook page, that type of things. Um, you know, it, it's like your home page of a website. It explains who you are and, and what you do and some information, um, you know, promoting yourself, your business, your brand, what your channel is all about. So click here to change the channel name. Um, down here, we can edit the details here in the about section. Hey, thanks for stopping by my YouTube channel. People ask me all the time, Mark, what do you do, et cetera, et cetera. And I've got some call to actions, connect with me on LinkedIn, connect, follow me on Twitter, like my Facebook page, subscribe to my YouTube channel, things like that. So add your keywords that you want to be searchable for. Remembering YouTube is amongst many things. It's a giant database in a search engine. You know, so you're, if you're an organic, uh, you know, um, you know, an organic gardener, you know, you would list organic gardening here, your, your keywords, it all helps with SEO ranking. You know, if you're a massage therapist, um, you know, you would list all of that. Um, you know, if you teach language, if you teach Spanish, you would want him to have all of that listed here as well. Um, channel URL and various details, I've got them all listed here. There is my channel URL, like that's the channel address. I have customized that though um, to my own name, Mark Warren can social media selling one, two, three. Once you get to a certain size on your YouTube channel, they allow you to customize the URL link. Just makes it a little bit more neat, a little bit nicer. You can then add these clickable links down here, links. If I scroll back to my YouTube channel over here on the right-hand side, see? Free fast start template, Facebook link, LinkedIn link, and the Twitter link. You can customize that in many different ways. All we do is add a link, click there. You would add the title. I could add Instagram. I would put my Instagram page, or you could put your website, and you would have your website URL. 
that type of thing. So you can customize five links um, and it's just best practices. These are the best practice all the popular, all the successful YouTubers are doing all the time. So um, we will remove that one. We don't want that. Um, scrolling down the bottom, your contact info, email address, if you like as well. So that's pretty much it. If I scroll back to my channel, this is how you're wanting. This is the best practice that you're wanting to, to try and achieve. Um, channel image, profile image, you know, welcome video and a featured video. If someone clicks on my about section, it's going to say who, you know, thanks for popping by, welcoming them to. If someone clicks on my videos, they're all listed in, you know, chronological order, um, playlists, all of that. That's the best practice. That's where everyone needs to be aiming to, um, you know, customizing your YouTube channels. So there we go. Hopefully you found this video informative, entertaining and helpful. And I have helped you on the way to setting up and customizing your YouTube channel for success. That's right. Most people forget this. And it's one of the main reasons that a lot of us struggle to grow our YouTube channel. Remembering when someone lands on your channel, they're going to decide within seconds whether they like what they see and they're either going to um, start viewing your videos or they will scroll on and the opportunity will be lost. That's why setting up and customizing your YouTube channel to the best of your ability, I believe is absolutely essential for every YouTuber these days. As always, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with all of my weekly videos. If you're watching this on my Facebook page, give me a thumbs up and give me a like there. If you're watching it on LinkedIn, send me a connection request, send me a message and let me know where you're tuning in from around the world. Mark Warnken, Social Media Selling 123 signing off. Have a fantastic day and I look forward to seeing you again in another one of my videos real soon.